in to Live at Bill's. We love each and every one of you. If you have not done so yet, please do the necessary things to make us know that you love us. Yeah. And you know what that means. That was generic. Because <laughs> we, we're multiple platforms. You can't be too specific. Anyway, we do have one specific band on the show tonight, and they're fantastic. They will not disappoint you. They bring hard rock southern jams. They're called Honeycut Southern. Big hand for those guys rocking the house tonight. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's going to be fun, so stay tuned. We got about seven hard rock jams coming your way in a way that you're going to like <laughs> I did. I was in acting class and we started doing motions. So I'm trying to get an A. <clears throat> Here to help me uh, save myself from bombing on this show every week, you know, we have a different person join us. And this week we have this guy. His name's Josh Howe. Big hand. Josh Howe. How are you, you. I'm good. I'm good, good man. man. I'm glad yeah, you're good. here. I'm glad Thank to you be so back. much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, this is a repeat. Yes, this is Josh a repeat. Josh has uh, co hosted an episode of Live at Bills. Mm -hmm. uh, there's only like he and one other guy that can say that. Who's the other guy? I can't remember his name. But uh, <laughs> it's two letters <laughs> JR. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. our good buddy JR, the yeah, mayor. Yeah, it was with JR. You he were was, out gallivanting he was, and... I know, and I was on vacation. Disneyland drinking yeah, butterbeer and, and, and waving wands. I was in, yeah. Harry I had Potter Land. Yes. Yeah, I was. I was yeah. in Florida in Harry Potter Land. I wasn't Land. stalking you or anything, I promise. I, just, I, no, I mean, it's a well-known fact, and I heard a lot about it for many months. But Josh, thanks yes. for being here. Uh, the reason Josh is here, we don't just bring anybody on. I mean, there's a little bit of a vetting. Process. Josh here uh, has a lot of experience with live music production. Live mm -hmm. music, first of all, just in and of itself. Yeah. Uh, keyboard player for Houston's premier Journey tribute, Escape. True. Yeah. yeah. Really great band. Love those guys. Yeah. Oh, love playing with them. They do yeah. a really great show in paying tribute to the band Journey. Yep. Uh, but also has just been like in charge of and headed up productions for really big names some like yeah. name just a couple off the top of your head um shoot let's say scott staff yeah um you know beach boys travis tritt i mean um, atlanta rhythm section yeah uh, marshall tucker marshall tucker band know, so, yeah. a few yeah we had a great time with it and I, yeah. I i actually ran camera on a show with you for uh, i think we did Shenan shenandoah yeah, and los shenandoah. lonely boys yeah, los lonely boys like that there was you go in, uh, yeah, yeah i mean the, so you know he knows what he's talking about yeah, he's yeah. he's got some experience they're fun He's not just your barback at any <laughs> random live music venue. Nothing this against dude, barbacks. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. he doesn't work near as hard as those guys do. Yeah, definitely not. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you have worked with Bill a little bit, our own, our yes, beloved yeah, Bill. Uh, and y'all have done some big things yeah, together. Yeah, that was uh, many years ago, many years yeah. ago. But yeah, Bill was pretty much with me when I started doing this production stuff, where I roped Bill into it or vice versa. I right, right. Was, you don't know who was the influence. I don't know, but either one of us, it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still here. You're still, still friends. Alive. Whenever still Bill alive. calls, Josh is like, what do you want? Yeah, All right, I'll uh, be I'll there, be, I I'm, guess. I love you, Bill. And, and Bill's the same way back to Josh. But, uh, yeah, man, so tell me a little, like, you got some stories? What do you, I mean, you got I some... Mean, I have a lot of stories, but I'm not going to, you know, you, there's some you can tell and some you can't. Right. But, YouTube you know, is pretty strict. Yeah, pretty much. So just, and it is experience doing the, you know, production work, yeah. either with staging or sound or lighting or whatever. There's one thing I did find that was very common through, I don't care oh. what band it okay. is. Okay, all right, There's very a cool. commonality. Let, yeah, let us know. Well, it's very, it's very simple, and, and the... More easygoing the band members are, okay. The easier the production is. I mean, sure. It, it just oh, okay. Is. oh, okay. It I is. think I get it. Yeah. So if they're more, if they're difficult, if they're divas, and they say we need our brown M and M's, we got this. Da, 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 <laughs> it is so difficult to have a good sound, and I don't know what it is. It's just time and time again, it's just proven itself to be that way. That, so yeah, basically, I, I think I understand. Basically, that. the lesson is. Can you sum it up for me? I, I think I'll say, I guess what you're trying to say is if you want to be a good musician and everybody love you, don't be a jerk. Yeah, don't be a jerk. And you'll sound much, much better. Don't yeah. make it Crowd, difficult. what do you think? <laughs> you... <laughs> yeah, there you go. They seem like they may need some convincing. I think they yeah! must have 
they might have a lot of jerk musician friends. They and I understand. I mean, as a jerk musician myself, I totally understand. But we're not all bad. No, not at all. They don't agree. No. As the, they're silently yeah, disagreeing. They're like, yes, you are. You're all jerks. Yeah, you're a bunch of... No, jerks. I can't. Jerks. That's yeah, the jerks. word. That's, That's the, the word, word for the day. That's the word. Jerks. Jerks. So don't be a jerk. You know, because those sound guys, I mean, those production people, they're there, like, way before you get there. That's a good there point. way after you leave and That's get your right. paycheck. So I they mean, what do you do? You show off. up for three hours and you play some songs and you leave and then you're going to be a jerk? Yeah. Don't be a jerk. Be a jerk. That monitor guy, that light guy, you know, tell them thank you. That's tell really good. Say something. Yeah. Tell be them nice. thanks. Be nice. Anyway. Can't all be as talented as you. So I heard uh, the... <laughs> The band that we're going to have. Oh, Is these guys cool? were awesome. Yeah, yeah they're going to sound great. Easy, easy, we're easy. Doing. We're fun to be around. This Honeycutt Southern. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, no, these guys. These guys. I mean, they're all right there yeah. looking at me, so I can't. I mean, we'll talk. I haven't heard sound check, so I don't know. I'm no, they're for great. They're great. And uh, yeah, and the other part of that is sound guy. Every sound guy knows the suck button on his console. Mm -hmm. So if you're a jerk, he can just be like, all right, suck. <laughs> oh yeah, Led Zeppelin, you're a jerk. Yep. Well, suck. suck. <laughs> but Led Zeppelin was nice on all accounts, as far as I know, except for their manager. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching live at Bill. Stay tuned. Honeycut Southern is gonna bring the jams right after this. Hey, I'm Phil from Live at Bill's. Thanks so much for watching. One way you can support the show is by going to our website, store.liveatbills.com. That's our merch shop. You can get one of these t-shirts, you can get a coffee mug, take it to work. People are like, what's Live at Bills? You tell them, they subscribe, and we have more viewers, our community gets bigger. It's a good thing. Thanks for watching. We got some jams coming your way. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the Live at Bill stage, Honeycut Southern. Yeah.
We're so glad to be here. We're having a lot of fun. We hope you guys are. All right. Let's rock and roll. Y'all ready to play? Yeah. This is the OG single. We'll have it in a few months. And uh, all ain't that a bitch. Cause I'm getting out 
Catch a fly, catch a check, burn out I lost a fucking bitch, yeah, I took a bite Now I'm only staying here before the Lord Cause knocking on the door, take me now No, I'm a sinner and I'm tapping now My soul is enough to fight the pain What's I meant to do? I can't get away Hey, it's Phil from Live at Bills. Uh, if you're new to Live at Bills, go on over to our website, liveatbills.com. You can see links to all the performances that have been on the stage since the beginning and a list of upcoming bands. You can learn all about the crew and you can stop by the store and buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug or a pint glass. A lot of things, really. Cut Southern in the house. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank Mike, yeah. Carl, and Andy. Big hand for these guys. Thank you. Bringing the jams tonight. Uh, let's just jump right in. Because I, I, I'm, I'm interested in the songs. The first song you guys played, Rev Me Up. Yeah. Uh, it's the latest single to drop. Yes, sir. When, when was that? When did it? Uh, it came it, out earlier in February. So. Okay, earlier yeah. in February. Yeah. And uh, where can the folks find that? You can find it at Spotify, Apple, Amazon, wherever you listen to music, YouTube, everywhere. There you go. Rev yeah. me up. Uh, I, I saw it on YouTube because that's yeah. just kind of where I go. Um, tell me a little bit how that song came to be. What's yeah. it about? Yeah, so it's just, you know, my entire life I've dealt with people who were detractors and told me I couldn't do things. And so um, it, the whole line is, you know, this motor inside, it roars. And so it's just yeah. a big middle finger to those people. Right on. So yeah. that's your fuel. That's right. The, all right. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, Andy, drummer. Give, yeah, I mean, give him some love. Yeah. We gotta get some love. Uh, how long, sir, have you been with this outfit? Uh, so right after the two of them started playing, I, ca I came on board. So, uh, But I think we've been together now for a little over a year. Year and a half. Almost. Year and a half, yeah. right? There. Okay, cool, very cool. And you've been playing out, mm -hmm. having a good experience there. Yeah. Um, how many songs have y'all worked up together? I don't know. It's probably close to fifteen. It's original deep. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. We're gonna hear seven. You've already heard three. We got four more coming from them tonight. Uh, so look forward and stay tuned to, for that. Um, tell me a little bit about the sound. I. People are like, well, what do they sound like? And I'm like, well, I mean, it's it's hard rock, yeah. but it's kind of got this southern thing, yeah. and maybe and maybe there's the the power of suggestion, which is the name, yeah. but there is a little bit of a southern. Yeah. How do you describe that? How do you pull well, that? First off, off, unabashedly southern, North Carolina boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, people hear the southern thing. It's a little bit of grunge, um, mm -hmm. and just straightforward. You know, kick you in the tail, rock and roll. There you go. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Very cool. Yeah. So, very cool. Uh, a lot of energy. Uh, love the sound, guys. You guys are really tight for just a year and a half. That's pretty cool. What's the practice schedule like? I mean, you guys must be. Yeah, we're doing Tuesday uh, nights. Yeah, Tuesday nights. <laughs> there you go. Tuesday yeah. night music club. Right yeah. on. We're uh, twice a week. You know, typically Tuesday, Saturday. Just depends on if we have a gig or not. But we're twice a week, most most weeks. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, how does it how does it work? What's the 
Do you bring the songs to the band or do, do you all pitch in together? How does that work? Yeah, pretty much uh, I have an idea and I'll, I'll have a riff or something like that and I'll lay it out and bring it to the guys and we'll finish the song together and then I'll go back and write lyrics and right on. whatever else. Is yeah. there any, um, what drew you together? Is it common influences, just, uh, just kind of a general interest in the same kind of sound? What? I, I guess Carl and Andy, what drew you to Mike? What? It was I my sex to... appeal, I think. Yeah, I think. I, I'm feeling it over here. It's a little steamy over here with Mike sitting close to me. <laughs> well, I've been wanting to play like in a hard rock band for a while. You know, yeah. I wanted to really, uh, you know, it's tight and had that that sound that I was looking for, and that's it's here. So very cool. Yeah, Carl. I like songwriting, and Mike songs are really impressive. Like. Mm -hmm. He had four songs when I met him, and these, these are all great. I mean, yeah. I'm not, now I'm in the band, so it sounds like I'm being pretentious, but I've, it's Mike's, Mike's songs were all great. That was what inspired me to want to be in a band with him. That's awesome. Very cool. And the hat makes you look pretentious, too. <laughs> 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 Come on, crowd. I mean, a little bit. Of that, I mean. no. I, you know, I got this hat from a place online, and the model for this hat is Sambora. And I said, I have to oh, buy like, a hat. Oh, like, like Richie? Mom, like yeah. Richie <laughs> Sambora. But it's not endorsed by Richie right, Sambora. Right. They He's just like, called I'm... it Sambora. Oh, like, they, I gotta you, buy a hat called You just Sambora. got that hat company canceled. You don't know about it. <laughs> but they are no longer a Richie Sambora. Because he's a fan of the show. Oh, cool. <laughs> I like to think he is. Sometimes I, I sit in my pajamas at home and watch the show, and i like, you know who else is watching this? Dave Grohl. <laughs> Could be Sambora. <laughs> Could be Richie Sambora. <laughs> hey man, do you got to do something about these hat companies, bro? They're taking advantage of you. I'm talking directly to you, Richie Sambora. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day somebody gets to talk to Richie Sambora. <clears throat> Apparently the crowd talks to him every day. They're like, really? <laughs> well, I mean, I do. He calls me at lunch. What? I told him what Starbucks drink I got today. <clears throat> Oh, move this way is what our director says. Closer to Mike, but it's hot over here because Mike's here. Anyway, he's revved up. Uh, <laughs> we just, it just, we just keep going with it. We just roll with it. It's you okay. good? Okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Well, Mike and I have a connection. I, I, I always pick. There's always like one guy in every band that uh, I tend to be like. You know what? Me and this dude. I feel like we're gonna hit it off, man. And we're gonna go to Applebee's later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's exactly right. And tonight, I, I feel like it's Carl. I mean, I, I've, I've been hanging out. All, I mean, I love all three of these guys. We're all bosom buddies. But Carl, oh, I don't man, like Applebee's though. No, I mean, I'm a Chili's guy. All right, okay. Myself. Remember Fridays? TJ, yeah. TJ, yeah. There was one in Willowbrook. Never mind. Okay, we're now we're placing ourselves, but. I gotta make sure about things, so I have here my Phil's Potential New Friend Questionnaire. For Carl, you, uh, there's no right or wrong answer, but you will be graded. All right. And after the show, I'll let you know how you did. Uh, here we go, you ready? Yes. Rapid fire, earth, flat or round? Flat. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a questionable start, <laughs> folks, but it's not a deal breaker by any stretch. <laughs> Uh, moon landing, real or fake? Fake. Mm. Uh, we're two for two now, bro. <laughs> High-powered blender or toaster oven? High-powered blender. Good, good. Okay, you redeemed yourself. Uh, dog's birthday or live at Bill's? Uh, live at Bill's. Clearly. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is his dog's My birthday. Dog's birthday. A big hand. What's your dog's name? Ergo. What? Ergo. Ergo. Like the dragon? Isn't that a... No, E-R-G-O, like, the, it follows that. Okay. <laughs> if you and I were going to TGI Fridays on the way there, would we listen to Sting or Phil Collins? Phil Collins. Hey. Yeah. All right. Hey. I think I got a new friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very good. I don't know what any of this means, neither do you, but that's why we're all here. Tell me, Mike, uh, tell me about the next song you're going to play. Song number four. In your set list for us. Yeah, it's uh, it's called Southern Comfort. Uh, we actually shot a video for it. It's yeah. on YouTube. Uh, and we got a popular Houston landmark in there, Leon's Lounge. Uh, okay, right. It was a lot right. of fun to shoot it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I, I think as an offshoot of that, didn't Southern Comfort kind of jump in and like 
Well, we kind of we kind of did some marketing finessing, uh, okay. but yeah, they did. Uh, they reshared the video on their own Instagram account, and so that was cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. There you go. All right, yeah. love it. If it's good enough for Southern Comfort, it's good enough for me. Amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Live at Bills. Stay tuned. We got more jams from Honeycut Southern. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching Live at Bills. My name is Phil Morell, and I would appreciate it if you have the need for any screen printing, t-shirts, anything like that, go check out our friends at SOB Screen Printing. You can find them online, you can give them a call, Wendell will answer the phone. Wendell's a good buddy of ours, and he's going to get you taken care of. He made my shirt. Check it out. Guys, you might need a shirt. It's gonna get cold. You gotta, you gotta go to SOB Screen Printing. Talk to Wendell. He's a good guy. He's a friend. If you come at him wrong, stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <laughs> well, we got to know him a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, as they said, all their social media links, where they can be found playing live, where you can find their music recorded and streaming, is all in the descriptions below. Just follow those links. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear some more jams from Honeycut Southern. All right!
for you. How about this? It's called Get My Ass in You. It's called Lady Hollywood. This was our first single. We released it about a year ago, and it still fucking rocks. And here it is.
got one more for you. How many of y'all know rock and roll is still alive and well? Let's hear it. All right. Rock and roll lives again.
Hey, thanks for watching Live at Bills. My name is Phil. I'm the host of Live at Bills, and we would appreciate it if you would go to our... <laughs> hey, my name is Phil Morell. I'm the host of Live at Bills. Thanks so much for watching. Please go... I don't know why I'm saying go. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's funny. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it live. It sucks. <laughs> No, no, probably not at all. Hey, thanks for watching Live at Bills. My name is Phil Morell. I'm the host of Live at Bills, and we would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Never mind. Good being here, Mike. Andy, and my new buddy Carl, the conspiracy theorist. Uh, the, uh, conspiracy analyst, he analyzes the conspiracies and then picks and chooses, like a monkey. Um, <laughs> grooming its mate. Don't they do that? Isn't that a thing? I'm not a biologist, I don't know, but I do host a rock and roll show called Live at Bills that I thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned, big things are in the works. In the words of Arthur, the 1980s movie, not all of us who drink are poets. Some of us drink because we're not poets. Good night. <laughs>